NTN received an exclusive drive on the Tower to Northeast Road in advance of the opening. If you take the road, what you'll experience will not be quite the same ride as you would have had before the June flooding. So you'll see traffic on Saturday morning at 8 o'clock traveling this road. That doesn't mean the construction and the repairs are over. There's still a lot of work to do, still a lot of cleanup. There are two segments where you'll notice that the most. If you're coming from the west, the first will be along the Lamar River, where flooding undercut the road. So far, only one lane is repaired. You can see that right here. So, traffic lights will let one direction through at a time. The other section is near the trailhead to Trout Lake. As this video from after the flood shows, this washout was particularly severe. It's so bad, crews are still working to cut back the hillside. So we have a much safer slope for the long term for any traffic that's going to be going on this road. Uh, it reduces the maintenance of rockfall, all of those things. Work is still underway to fix this, so the road will not be paved until about the 23rd of October, perhaps a little earlier. Travel is allowed, but there are flaggers to control traffic through the construction zone, which as you can see here, is still a bit rough. Priority one was getting these sections repaired. Our next priority, as far as flood recovery, will be kind of building for resilience to prevent us from having another major, um, you know, issue with, with washed out roads and that kind of thing if we have a future event. On the drive to Silvergate and Cook City, you will see the construction work continuing. The Pebble Creek parking lot is filled with heavy equipment and a huge pile of soil removed from the big washout a little to the west is also piled high. But most of the way, the road is just the same as before. That has Cook City and Silvergate business owners Overjoy. We now know that the winter is going to be exactly as it always was. All of our snowmobilers, and we've been contacted by many of them asking, but it's going to be the same. Uh, they're going to be able to use the east end of 212 that's not plowed during the winter to, to, to come through on the trail or drive in the northeast gate if they want to bring their rigs into town.